Hello there, this is Nopename. Welcome to another video about my MC64 uh, virtual computer inside Minecraft. Um, and this is also a channel update, I decided. <clears throat> but before I'm going to talk about the channel, um, I'm going to demonstrate some cool new stuff uh, for my computer here. So, if you don't know already, um, I'm working on a fully functional, programmable computer inside Minecraft um, that is based on command functions. So you don't need any mods or something like that. You don't have to modify the actual game code of Minecraft. Um, just download the world and yeah, then you can start right away. As you can see, uh, it says vanilla. Even though this is with Optifine, so it's not fully vanilla, but you don't need Optifine. You don't have to need the code of Minecraft. Alright, so... Um, first of all, let's clear the screen. And run this program. And it's done. You can see it is really fast. And basically what it's doing... <coughs> First of all, it will clear the screen with the color number zero, which is white. So it will just paint the screen white. Then it will um, clone the screen number 63, which is the top, uh, yeah, the top screen here on this stack of screens. That's uh, where I got this thing here from in the top left corner. After that, it will fill a region from coordinates 55 5 to 127, 127 with a color 1, which is orange. So, um, yeah, the screen coordinates start here with 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. You can see it, and 127, 127 is just the top right corner of the screen. And the screen is 128 by 128 blocks big, and since it starts at zero, this is the highest value you can get. And yeah, one is orange. Then it will draw a line from 66 to the top right corner of the screen. Um, in color 11, which is blue, as you can see here. Um, but you will notice that it won't um, yeah, continue to the um, top right corner. That's because after drawing the line, I'm filling this region up here with uh, yeah red pixels, so it will override the blue line. So yeah, um, the um, how do we call that? Um, the way you program this will. Um, of course have an influence on the end result because if you call this command first and this second this will override the pixels drawn here um, I can modify the, uh, the program so let's just remove this one up here and run it again and as you can see that red square disappears and the line will continue to top right corner um yeah so <clears throat> if you edit a command um you can see i restructured this thing here so this means or this str stands for string you will be able to manipulate strings but i haven't really done that yet so this will give you missing commands um, but you can use all of these things here we should give missing commands as well. Yes. Okay. Um, so the top row here of commands works. These are the basic commands. This here, this is um, variable assignment. Um, so for example, equals five. You can do something like that. That works. Um, I will print, you can only print out integers by now. Um, yeah, let's run that. It should print the number 6 in chat. Yes, it does. Um, and 
the bottom row of GPU commands works. Oops. Clear will just fill the whole screen with um, a certain color. Um, for colors you can have all the different rule types and the number of the colors just uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Um, like the old metadata of um, rule block, uh, blocks. Um, pixel will set a pixel at a certain position uh, and this is the oops this is the color again and I messed up um, pixel um, yes let's see it it should draw a pixel um, yeah where it is where's the pixel um, yeah, fill will fill a square, line will draw a line between two coordinates with a color at the end and screen will copy one of these screens. The top one is, uh, the bottom one is uh, number 0 and the top one is number 63. So in total we you have 64 of these screens you can copy. And yeah, that's it. I think, yeah, I will give you this version of MC64 for download. It's work in progress. It's, uh, yeah, it's work in progress. <laughs> um, so, as I said, some of these commands don't work. All right, let's get to the channel update. Um, yeah, I had some problems in the past few weeks especially but um, I didn't feel that well in the past few months even uh, that had to do with some mental health issues um, I have uh, I don't is it do you just call it social anxiety in English I don't know um, but yeah I have problems with that and it got better in the past one or two months, but my mental health in general um, declined. Is that the correct word? Um, in the past year nearly, I guess. And now that the fourth semester is over, um, things are getting better. I have holidays now and I already feel a lot better. Um, I have more motivation, for example, for this project and for other stuff. Yeah, I feel better in general. So you can expect more videos and more project updates in the future. I will try to make um, a video on Project Zelda again. I haven't really been working on that map for a month, I guess. Um, yes, also there will be streams in the future and I decided to make some German videos again, probably about Project Zelda, some sort of let's build or let's show, I don't know. Um, yeah, and just check out the video description for a download link to this map here. Just put the world file in your saves folder and loading the map will take quite some time since it contains more than 20,000 command functions not just commands but functions <laughs> um, so yeah if you load the world for the first time or if you execute reload it will take quite some time um, I can show that um, oh hopefully the video doesn't lag now Anyways, I will continue working on this thing and hopefully I'm able to um, make the first game with it. Wherefore I need, so it finished reloading, wherefore I need um, user input first. There's no way to give direct user input while executing a command yet. And I have to modify the way the computer executes commands as well, so it runs a bit faster. And then I will try to 
implement a simple version of Pong. So instead of two moving lines at the end of the screen, you will only have one and the ball will just bounce off our wall and you have to hit it again, uh, otherwise you will lose if it hits your end of the screen. Um, that should be possible. Um, I think the only way, uh, the only thing that's missing is the user input. Everything else should work already. And yeah, I hope you're looking forward to it. See you next time. Bye.